Hey, what's going on everyone and uh, welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video we are going to build a Twitter application that is going to uh, fetch uh, tweets from a user Twitter account. So um, as always, uh, remember to subscribe, give it a like to support the channel and uh, let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do, we need to uh, go into, uh, open the browser and go into developers.twitter.com and uh, create an account, log in. Alright, so once you log in into your um, developer's Twitter account, go ahead and go into apps. And uh, what you have to do here is to create an application. Once you create the application, go ahead and click on details. And uh, here, what you need to go inside uh, keys and tokens, because you need to grab your uh, API keys. Once you have that information, um, we are going to go now into our editor, and uh, for this I'm using Sublime. So I'm going to, um, I have already opened my document here, so I'm going to Ctrl S to save it, and I'm going to call it uh, fetch underscore tweets.py. Okay, so the first thing I need to do, I need to import um, sys comma n uh, Tweetpad. So these are the two libraries that we need for this application. Uh, the next thing that we need to do, I'm going to create a comment here that says um, authentication function. Uh, this will be a function that is going to authenticate with the uh, with Twitter. So I will say def um, Twitter underscore auth, and I'm going to use a try block here. And the first variable that I want to use is a consumer underscore key. And uh, for now, I'm going to set this one to all x, since I don't want you to see my key. But uh, basically, what you need to do, and like I said before, you need to go into your keys and tokens and grab your uh, API key, your secret key. And uh, that's what we're going to insert here. Uh, the next one is going to be. Uh, consumer secret underscore secret again I'm just I'm just going to put some um, uh, placeholder and next I want to create another variable called access uh, token you can get that from the same place before I run the app I will be changing this so I won't be running the app with this X and finally, I need to create another one. This one is called Access Secret. Okay, so next, uh, I'm going to say um, accept key error. And uh, in this section, I'm going to uh, do sys std error.write. Twitter underscore uh, and then environment underscore um, actually environment very new line. Uh, next, I want to do sys um, exit. So if we have an error, we want to exit the application. And so um, here I'm going to say off, that's another variable, 3pi dot out handler consumer underscore key comma consumer underscore secret next I'm going to say out that set underscore access underscore token then access token Comma, access secret. And finally, we are going to return that variable. And that's it for that function. The next function that we're going to create, we're going to actually uh, authenticate with the client, with the Twitter client. So I'm going to say get uh, Twitter client is the other um, uh, function. And here I'm going to say auth equals to Twitter 
uh, okay so we're going to call this function it's going to return that uh, so next I want to say client equals to 3 pi API and then I'm going to pass the path variable and the next uh, parameter is going to be weight on ray limit equals to true okay so there is a limit to the amount of uh, queries that we can get from the API uh, the next thing uh, we're going to do is return client so that was the second function and finally uh, we are going to get to the uh, main section so we're going to say if underscore underscore name equals to main uh, we're going to say user equals to input um, enter username so we want to get the username that we want to fetch those tweets for so we're going to prompt the, um, the user for that and next, next we're going to say clients equals to get to the client and finally we're going to say for status in tweetpy dot cursor client home underscore timeline comma screen name equals user then items we're going to pull uh, the first or the last actually the last 10 tweets from that user uh, timeline and then here we're going to uh, do print status that text so we're going to print the actual uh, tweets and so let's go ahead and save that uh, and uh, I'm going to pause so I can replace the keys and I will be uh, running the application next okay so we're ready to run the app so I'm going to say Python uh, fetch tweets.py and I'm going to press enter enter username I'm going to enter a uh, let's say this user, uh, this uh, Twitter username, and that's uh, all the tweets for that, uh, the, the last tweet for that username.